Luxembourg News from Chokitable Media, CMC. At last, six years after initial approval, MPs pass law to equip police officers with body cameras. Almost 1,700 police officers are to be equipped with body cameras in the future following Wednesday's vote. On Wednesday, the governing party, DP, Democratic Party, Luxembourg Socialist Workers' Party, LSAP, the Green, the Green Party, voted in favor of required law in the chambers of deputy, the Christian Social People's Party, CSV, the Alternative Democratic Party, ADR, and the Pirate Party opted to abstain from the vote. Why the left, the link, voted against it. I don't know why they have to vote against it anyway, but according to what we have here now, the new development is it has been approved finally that the police officers in Luxembourg will have to wear body cameras while on operation. Good development, I say. Body cams allow police officers to record their operation and are set to provide enhanced protection for both the officers and citizens involved. The implementation of body cams is aimed at fostering prevention and facilitating potential de-escalation in various situations. The decision on when to activate the cameras lies with the police officers, who is required to announce it to, unless doing so might be counterproductive to the situation at hand. Officers will undergo specialized training and a review will be conducted after two years of usage. A budget of six million distributed over five years has been allocated for the procurement of the cameras. The concept of body cameras for police officers has been subject to a prolonged discussion six years ago. The minister, the then ministers of, minister of internal security, Ethne Schneider, initially approved the use of such camera. The police union, SNPGL, was initially in favor of the body cameras, but has since changed its stance to opposition. This, I don't know why they have to change their stance. I mean, you have they have to be for this, not to be against it. You know, they don't have to be in the opposition. It, it takes some time. It will take some time before the body cameras can be put into practice. Now that the law has been passed successfully, authorities can proceed with tendering process to acquire the necessary equipment. Now, my own take is it pays both sides. It pays both sides. The police officers, the police authority, and at the same time, the citizens. I think it's a welcome this development. Like, you know, it is uh, being used in other, in other climbs, like in America and the UK. Let the police officer here also wear body cameras. I mean, uh, because, I mean, it's going to pr pr protect, the, protect the officers, at the same time, protect the citizens as well. I mean, normal procedure will be followed like you know asking you know telling the citizen that it is you know you're going to put on the camera at any situation so that at least it will come to come the citizens also the accused also to watch whatever they are doing at the, at the time the camera is being put on so but, but for me i believe protection on both sides will be enhanced and the crime rate also will be reduced and argument in the courts here and there also will be minimized because at least you have the third party there the third party is going to be the camera the camera the police officers and the citizen in question or the accusing person so it's good to have the body camera on you know by the police officers so the police union should try not to be in opposition uh against the body cameras for the police officers and the party also and the other parties the other parties in opposition also should not work against this this has been on the table for the past six years and now it has been passed Congre congratulations luxembourg this is luxembourg news from chukitable media